Welcome back to Amsoil Motor Speedway. Another great night of racing as we join as we join in now on the second feature of the night, the Super Stocks feature. We'll give you a quick rundown before the action gets underway. Row number one, car number one X belongs to Don Buzzy out of Ironwood, Michigan. Next to him, the 12K of DJ Keeler from Superior. In row number two, the 29F of Dave Flynn from Superior, Wisconsin, alongside the white 12 of Jim Campbell out of Two Harbors, Minnesota. And in the third row, the 30 of Kevin Burdick, Proctor, followed by the number 77, Scott Lawrence from Superior. In the fourth row, the 91 of Andy Davey out of Hibbing, Minnesota, alongside the 18 of Willie Johnson, Jr. from Superior, Wisconsin. And in the fifth row, the number six car of Shane Kissling from Sorona, Wisconsin, and next to him, the 13 of Patrick Heikinen from Evelyn. In the sixth row, the number eight of Keith Kern from Superior, Wisconsin, alongside the 22 of Tyler Kintner out of Ibbing, Minnesota. And in the seventh row, the 150 of Austin of William from Thunder Bay, Ontario, next to the 2C of Don, excuse me, Dan Tucheri. Uh, one of our favorite cars here, a two with a cherry, Kekebeka Falls, Ontario. In the eighth row, the 24 of Andy Grimala from Superior, Wisconsin, alongside the 23 of Ashley Smith, also from Superior. And in the ninth row, the 21F of Nick Oreskovich from Mason, Wisconsin, followed by the 16S of Mark Smith from Solon Springs, Wisconsin. And that wraps up your super stock feature roster, the lineup rundown of what you may call it and as we, we take the green. Not wasting time as they go three and four wide. Lots of contact made through turn number one, but nobody around. Racing will resume four wide down the back stretch. Yeah, it looked like Nick Oreskovich in the back got loose on that first turn, but they'll keep going anyways. Out front, Don Muzzy who started there, followed by the 29 of Dave Flynn. Don Muzzy, shh, I'm sure he's happy to be up front. He's been having some rough luck all season long so far, at least here at Amsoil. A lot of contact there between the 30 of Kevin Burdick. We know Kevin is a hard racer. Out front, Dave Flynn takes the lead there. Don Buzzy in the second spot as those guys go by, as you said. Uh, the close quarters, Chad, as they take turns three and four. Very close. Can't forget that this is a feature. That's why they are racing so hard. Seems like they're racing too hard too early, but nope. We have 17 laps here on the Super Stock feature. The second feature of the night, we'll have one more before we hit the prelims and then back to the feature. Of course, these are being made up from last week's races after we had what folks are referring to as a monsoon here in Superior. That doesn't matter for Dave Flynn, who is out in front of the rest of the pack. Three wide behind Don Muzzy, all in that third position. The 30 car of Kevin Burdick, the 18 of Willie Johnson Jr., and the 91 of Andy Davey. Dave Flynn just hoping nobody does anything behind him to mess this up. He's way out in front, followed by Don Muzzy there, as Chad said. And the battle really is for second, third, fourth, and so on. Willie Johnson Jr. a little bit shuffled out of that battle as he slides back behind his three nemesis. Andy Davies is going to take on Don Muzzy for that second spot. Meanwhile, the 29F of Dave Flynn, way out in front by about nine car lengths. 14 laps to go, no yellow, smooth racing so far. Easy to forget about him, Dave Flynn, because he's out in front so far. He's kind of running his own race. Don Muzzy holding on with all his might to that second spot, but it looks like the 91 of Andy Davey is going to take it, at least this time around. The six car of Shane Kissling out of Sorona, Wisconsin, sneaking up behind Don in that fourth spot, taking with him Tyler Kintner in that fifth position. William out here. His first race was just a couple of weeks ago, the 150 car from Canada from Thunder Bay. He raced again last week. I don't see him out here tonight, though. So he might not have made the trip back down. If I remember correctly, he was having a pretty rough go of it a couple weeks ago, and too. He did last week, too. He found his way to the back of the pack, but certainly new here at the track, and it will only get easier each time he does it. Everybody's got to cut their teeth. Whoa! 13 car, Patrick Heikinen comes screaming into the infield. 
Ten laps to go. No time to slow down here. Your leader still the 29F of Dave Flynn coming up on lap traffic. That's the 23 car of Ashley Smith. Yeah, Dave Flynn way out in front of the rest of the pack. As these guys go by now with just eight laps to go on the Super Stock feature, the first of the night. The second spot there, Andy Davey. Followed by the number six car of Shane Kissler. Don Muzzy dropped back to the fourth position, just ahead of Kevin Burdick, who's going at it with here. Willie Johnson Jr. We got the 22 again, and then Tyler Kinner, one of your favorites here, who's done well over the summer, but Tyler Kinner back into the infield. Looks like Scott Lawrence as well. He'll head head to the middle of the infield. That's three cars now that have done so. Andy Davy, though, he has it. He leads now with just six laps remaining here at the Super Stock feature here at Amtel Motor Speedway. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, a beautiful night here. I'm Sarah Wheeler alongside Chad Lyons. Whew. Lots of racing tonight. Lots of features just the way we like it. Dave Flynn putting on a clinic on this Super Stock feature. Five laps to go. Leading by about 12 car lengths over the 91 of Andy Davy, who's only about four car lengths over the six of Shane Kisling. Just like Jake Gondick had the last, the last feature, looks like it's the 29 half of Dave Flynn's race to lose. These guys really spread out this whole field as we haven't seen many problems since the early, uh, early stages of this race. Hopefully we won't the last three laps. I'll take it though, smooth, clean racing over cautions any day. Absolutely, but it helps the drivers out too, I'm sure, to just kind of get into a groove. It certainly helped out Dave Flynn who leads it with just two laps to go. Here on the super stock feature, first of the night he'll have a chance to make it two feature wins all on the same night. As Flynn goes by one more time, he needs one more left before the checkered plate comes along. Still in that second spot is the number six car of Shane Kisley. Followed by the 91 of Andy Davey as those guys go by. And here is Dave Flynn, the winner of tonight's super stock feature race. No problem at all for him as he just dominated that one. Made it look easy from up here, Jeff. Well, that'll give him some momentum going into the prelims oh, no and, and the double feature later this evening. Yeah, I like that double feature. Double feature Friday here at Amsoil Motor Speedway. Good night to be here, that's for sure. And that'll be Davey's second feature win of this season. And not a bad summer for him as we wait for him to make his way to the winner's circle here. Of course, we'll hear from him out front as we do all the winners here at Amazon Motor Speedway. Followed by the 18 of Willie Johnson Jr., the 1X of Don Muzzy. Then we have the 30 of Kevin Burdick, the 12 of Jim Campbell, the 24 of Andy Gravala, the 2C of Dan Tusheri, the 21F of Nick Arestovich, the 8 of Keith Kern, the 12K of DJ Keeler, and the 23 of Ashley Smith. Your finishing order here in this super stock makeup feature. And again, a number of our top points and drivers right now having to pull into the infield. We'll see if they can get those cars ready we'll to go. See, we'll see exactly what happened too, Chad. Uh, I know they're trying to figure out why those guys went into the middle of the infield. Hard to know exactly why those guys just weren't feeling it, wanted to save it for the next feature. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why they pull off like that. Um, typically, if it's a mechanical failure, they'll just break for the pits, but. As we wait for Andy Davey to make his way. Dave Flynn. Excuse me, Dave Flynn, Andy Davey. Davies. Davey wishes he was making his way. <laughs> that's right, that's right. 
It was not his race, at least not this one. He'll have another chance, though, later tonight as we wait to hear from Glenn, his second feature win of the summer here at Amsoil Motor Speedway, certainly a place that he's done well at as he climbs out of his car. That's always the hardest part here. And we will. Dave Flynn gets out. Again, your winner tonight's Superstock feature. Well, Dave, I'll tell you what, I think it's been about two months since we talked to you. That's how long this season's been. What he had about four shows in, but uh, don't you realize there were 17 other cars out there? You found something, come out of the second row. Goodbye. Yeah, it uh, worked out good. It helps to start out front. Uh, I've been struggling a lot of the year, so it's glad, I'm glad to be back here. Sponsors, quick. Yeah, Rick's Auto Body, Jimmy Saloon, Shell's Daycare. Turn three motorsports, Manitowan, Duluth me Mechanical Electrical, uh, Magoo, my wife Amanda, Rick Amona. Thank you guys. Good job, Dave. Congratulations. Cooter's Garage. Yeah. So, for the second time this year, going into our winner's circle. Dave Flynn keeping it short and sweet because we've got plenty of racing action to get you. Another feature before we start really tonight's action. Dave Flynn again, the winner of tonight's Super Stock, his second win of the season. We'll take a quick break. We'll have more racing action coming up next.